Uh, okay, we're back. Um, I got a haircut in between those two videos. Uh, if you didn't notice, it's been long overdue. Um, and very enjoyable. Anyway, back to business. Uh, next thing we need to do is widgets. So widgets are going to be these things that take up this area. Now widgets are any little content holder. Now there are a couple that are specialized to do a couple things and there are some that are just a block of text and you can put whatever you want in them. Um, so let's have a look at what they are. Um, so if we go in our dashboard, if we go to appearance and then widgets. Now these on the left, these are all widgets that are built into your, um, to your website and most of them are the same. You don't, uh, unlike themes, you won't search out and download and install widgets. Um, that doesn't really happen. But you could get more. As you can see, I probably have more than you. I have these ones called My Theme Shop. There's a whole bunch of them. Um, those are widgets that my theme installed. And you might also get plugins, which we'll talk about next, that will install themes as well. So plugins can install themes as part of their function, and a theme or it can install widgets as part of their function, and themes can install widgets. But you'll never just like go searching for widgets; they're part of other things. So um, now, in addition to that, you also have widget areas, and these are dependent on your theme. So here, I have one widget area. It's called the sidebar. That's this area over here. Sidebar makes sense, right? You may have several widget areas. There's only one for me because this theme only allows for one. If I go look at something like this page, this has one over here, another sidebar. It also has these ones below, and this particular theme uh, divides them up into one, two, three, four, five different widget areas. So there are six total widget areas for this theme. There's these five, and then there's this one big one on the right. Um, this one only gives me one. This theme only gives me one. And that's fine to only have one. Um, it just depends on how it's laid out. So what I have here is I have two widgets installed in this area. I have the search bar and this recent posts. So the first thing I want to do is get rid of this recent posts because I'm not going to use that and I can finally get rid of this hello world for good. Um, the search bar I am going to leave. So here we see sidebar and if you don't see this you might be collapsed. There's this little arrow here. Uh, and you might not have any installed by default. Uh, so I'm going to hit this little arrow it says search bar, and that's all good. I'm going to close that. For recent posts, I'm going to click that arrow, and I'm going to say delete. Gone. And we don't actually have to hit save on this um, to update it. This updates automatically. So if I go to this page and I refresh it, recent post is gone. So now I've got a nice clean area there. So let's do something with it. Let's leave the search bar. Let's see what we've got here. A couple useful things. Archives is for like older stuff that you've posted. I don't really want that. A calendar. This calendar isn't what you think it is. This calendar is very useless. But I'm going to install it just to show you what it is. So I'm going to drag this calendar over to the widget area and just let it go. And it wants me to give it a title, so I'm going to call it calendar and then save. Okay. Now if I go look at it, I refresh this page. It's going to show me a calendar here, but it's a pretty useless calendar. I can't really do anything with it. Um, it's basically just to tell people what the date is, I guess. Um, so you can't put events on dates with this or anything like that. Um, so it's not a very useful plugin. So I'm going to get rid of it, or widget, I should say. Custom menu could be useful. If you wanted to have another menu that showed up on this right side, you could put this in there. And then it's going to say select a menu. So we could go in and make a third menu and put it here, or we would see it in this menu. 
we'd call it like sidebar menu or something, and they would select it, and then we'd have another menu over on the right side. So we'd have three. So that could be useful, not immediately useful to me right now. So I'm going to get rid of that. Um, here's one. This came with my theme. It's giving me a Facebook like box, um, some ads, a Google Plus, a subscribe, a feed burner subscribe widget. I don't use feed burner, so I'm not going to use that. Uh, this pages one is going to list all your pages, um, so not entirely useful to me. Recent post, RSS, tag cloud, search we're already using, text. Text is where we get, to me, is the most powerful widget there is. What text does as a widget is it just gives you a box of text, and you can put whatever you want in it. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to drag it up here, and put a text box here. And one of the best things to do with this on your website uh, is to put contact info here. Because remember, these widgets are going to show up, this like right sidebar is going to show up on every single page. So I'm going to say contact. And then I'm going to say Jansen, oops, I can spell my own name, Ellen, okay, come, uh, maybe I'll put Minneapolis. Minnesota, and then you can put more contact info if you want. Uh, it depends on how much you want to put out there online. Um, I have my whole address on my website, and um, I've never really had any problems with it. Um, I put my phone number on there, too. If you don't want to do that, it's fine. Just be sure there's at least your name and email. Uh, that's the most important stuff. Um, Okay, I'm going to click this automatically add paragraphs. That's going to make sure this goes down. Now, the one tricky thing about this text widget is that we don't get that WYSIWYG editor that we saw when we made pages. It's not here. So this is either raw text or you can put in code here. So more on that in just a second. Let's save this. I do have to save the individual widget. And now let's go look at the page and see what that did. Okay, so here's my contact information. That looks decent, but it would be better if it looked uh, good. So um, if, if we did a little bit more formatting to it. So any formatting we do here, we're going to have to use HTML code. Now, um, I know I promised that we wouldn't delve into code in this class, and you can avoid it if you want. Um, and I think in the last, one of the last videos, I'm going to walk you through some basic HTML code uh, that you can use if you want, and the most useful place for that would be in these text widgets. Um, this is where we want to put stuff. So basically how it works is if I want to make, I'm just going to show you a couple little things that will be useful to really jazz up this text widget. So if I want to make my name bold, I need to use like the, the alligator clip thing, so greater than, less than stuff, and then inside of it I'm going to put a B. That means turn on bold. Then I'm going to go to the end of it, I'm going to do the same thing, alligator clips, B, but I'm going to put a slash in front of it. That means turn off bold. So turn bold on, turn bold off. Now my name will be in bold. I'm going to save that. Have a look. Now my name is in bold. So the, the formatting stuff like that adds, adds a lot. Um, we'll do more of that in that last video where we walk through some HTML stuff. And at very least, um, I'm going to include somewhere in this uh, online class, depending on how you're looking at it, um, there should be... Uh, this really huge handout that I use for when I teach this in person. It's like 80 pages or something. But if you jump to the end of that, the appendix has uh, basic HTML help, and we'll walk you through how to do some other stuff, like um, italics, make stuff a link. We can put a picture in here. We can put... Um, we could even put a video in here if we wanted to. That's actually one of the easier things to do. And we'll look at putting a video in here when we talk about embedding stuff in a soon coming up yet video. 
Um, but we can have as many of these as we want. So I'm going to say save contact. And let's put that there. And then let's add another text widget. And let's put in this one um, upcoming shows. And then I'll say uh, next Tuesday at um, what are some venues that you're all going to know? Um, well, Target Center is the big one here in Minneapolis, so that's cool. Then I'll say uh, next Thursday, let's go back and capitalize Tuesday and just be fancy. I'm just making these up. I'm not really playing at Target Center. At uh, the Grammys. Um, you get the point. So I can say upcoming shows. That's where that's where that's happening. And I can hide that one. Let's put one more in there. Do something like um, current projects. And I'll say I am working on a new album of um, solo mandolin material and also um, collaborative sound art installation on the theme of puppies. Okay, that's what I'm working on these days. That's cool. Um, oh, I got to click this automatically add paragraphs, which I don't think I did in the previous one. Let's go back to current projects or upcoming shows and select that too. So I always want to click that. Okay, now let's see what I got here. Okay, so now I'm making much better use of this space over here by displaying contact information, upcoming shows, current projects, anything else you can think of. And this is going to be on every single page. So it's really great. Like here's my bio and it's still there, right? So this is really good stuff. I highly recommend contact info going into one of these widgets. It's perfect for it. Um, upcoming shows, current projects, anything else that you want to say that you want to like really get into people's faces all the time. Um, another thing you could do with this would be to have a list of your social media stuff. Uh, here's how I would do that. I might do it with a menu. So let's do that. We could use a text widget and just type it all in, but a menu might be better. So I'm going to go to menus. Oh, here I am. Uh, now I'm going to go up here to create a new menu. I'm going to call this social menu. This is going to be all my social media stuff. Okay, so now I don't have anything in this list, so I have to go down to this links button. So I'm going to open that up. Now this links button will let you add something to the menu that's just a link to anywhere. Um, so the destination is the URL, so where this is going to take you. So I'm going to say facebook.com slash Allen. And the link text is what is what is it going to say? What's the thing you're going to click on? And I'm going to say Facebook. Okay, we'll add that. Now that shows up over there. Now here I'm going to say twitter.com slash Allen. I think that's how Twitter is formatted. I'm going to say Twitter. And uh, what are some of the other ones? Um, Uh, I can send people to ballymech.bandcamp.com. That's one of the groups I work with. Say, oh, we'll say Bandcamp. Um, I can do linkedin.com slash Allen. I have no idea if that's how you actually format the link to LinkedIn. I should probably look these up um, and make sure the link is correct and it gets you to me, but... Oh, let's see, is there any more? Um, SoundCloud. Got 
that's one word. Sound God. Okay. So now I've got five social media um, links here that get you to my social media stuff. So theme locations. I already have a primary menu. I already have a footer menu. So I'm not going to select any of those. So I'm just going to hit save menu and it's not going to show up anywhere because I haven't assigned it a location. But now I'm going to go back to my widgets over here. And I'm going to select a custom menu widget. Let's put it underneath current projects. And for title, I'm going to say social media. Select a menu, social menu, and save. Now, I have a slick little social media menu that shows up right here. Here's all my social media. They're all active links that will take you to places. Let's see if it works. Facebook takes you to me. Great. I can go back. And that's nice. So it's got all your social media stuff right there. Very slick, very easy, right? So now we're making great use of all of this formerly white space over here uh, and getting people a lot of information that's going to be there all the time. If you want, you can reorder widgets just by clicking and dragging, just like menus. We could put the search lower if we wanted, although that would be kind of silly. People are used to seeing a search bar at the top, so that would be best. So that's how we can use widgets to do a few different interesting stuff. Take advantage of that widget space wherever it is in your theme uh, and do some fun stuff with it. Okay, let's move on to the next thing.